over section 3.8, the HL postulate. After studying this section, you'll be able to use the HL postulate to prove right triangles congruent. Now the HL postulate stands for the hypotenuse leg postulate. It's a way to prove triangles congruent when the triangles are right triangles. I can only use the HL postulate if I have right triangles. I don't need to state that the triangles themselves are right triangles, I just need to show that they contain a right angle. Because obviously, if a triangle contains a right angle, then they will be right triangles. So when using the HL postulate in a proof, I need to show that the angles are right angles, and then the hypotenuse and a leg of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding parts of the other triangle. Then the two triangles would be congruent by HL. Now looking at our sample problems, I have the following givens, and I want to prove that ray AB bisects angle CAD. To show that ray AB bisects angle CAD, I'd need to show that angle CAB is congruent to angle DAB. If these two angles are congruent, then ray AB would be the bisector of my whole angle. In order to show these two angles congruent, notice that they're a part of triangle CAB as well as triangle DAB. So if I can prove triangle CAB is congruent to triangle DAB, then I will have those two angles congruent, and I will have ray AB bisecting angle CAD. Looking at my givens, I have segment BC is perpendicular to segment AC, which would give me angle C being a right angle. Segment BD is perpendicular to segment AD, which would tell me angle D is a right angle. I have AC congruent to AD. These are the legs of the right triangle. So now I need the hypotenuses congruent. If I can show the hypotenuse is congruent, then I would have HL. Remember, the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. It's the side opposite of the right angle, which would be side AB. In my two triangles, AB is a shared side. So I can say that AB is congruent to itself by reflexive property, which would give me my two triangles congruent. Now I can use CPCTC to show that angle CAB is congruent to angle DAB. And then I can use the definition of angle bisector to tell me that ray AB bisects angle CAD. Now listing this in my proof, I would have my first given of segment BC perpendicular to segment AC. Then I would have angle C is a right angle or angle ACB by the definition of perpendicular lines. Then my next given of segment BD is perpendicular to segment AD. Now angle D or angle BDA is a right angle. AC is congruent to AD that was given. Then I showed my hypotenuses were congruent, so segment AB is congruent to segment AB by the reflexive property. Now my triangles are congruent, so triangle ACB is congruent to triangle ADB by the hypotenuse leg postulate. Then the angles are congruent, so angle CAB is congruent to angle DAB by CPCTC. Now I can show that ray AB bisects angle CAD by the definition of angle bisector. Looking at problem two, I want to prove that corresponding angle bisectors of congruent triangles are congruent. Looking at my diagram, if I have congruent triangles, it's asking me to show that segment WT is congruent to segment RM, because those are the angle bisectors of the congruent triangles. Notice that these two angle bisectors create two different triangles in my whole triangle, triangle SAW and triangle KPR. It creates triangle STW that corresponds with triangle KMR. And it also creates triangle ATW with triangle PMR. So if I can prove that either set of these corresponding triangles are congruent, then I could use CPCTC to show that segment RM is congruent to segment WT. Now looking at my givens, I'm given the entire triangles are congruent, which would mean all the angles and all the sides are congruent to the corresponding angles and the corresponding sides of the other triangle. So let's say that we're going to try and prove if my entire triangles are congruent, then segment SW would be congruent to segment KR, angle S would be congruent to angle K, then angle SWA would be congruent to angle KRP. Now I can use the fact that these two are angle bisectors to show me that my smaller angles in triangle STW and triangle KMR, which would be angle SWT and angle KRM, are congruent because I would use the division property. So these two smaller angles are congruent. 
And now I have my triangles congruent by angle side angle. If my triangles are congruent, then I can say that segment RM is congruent to segment WT by CPCTC. Looking in this in my statements and reasons, I have my triangles congruent as a given. Based off the triangles congruent, I said segment SW is congruent to segment KR and angle K is congruent to angle S by CPCTC. Then I had my two large angles congruent, so angle KRP is congruent to angle SWA by CPCTC. Now I need my angle bisectors, which were given to me. The angle bisectors tell me to use division property to get my smaller angles congruent, which were angle KRM and angle SWT. Now I had my small triangles congruent by angle side angle, so triangle KRM was congruent to triangle SWT. Then finally, my segments were congruent, so segment RM was congruent to segment WT by CPCTC. In this lesson, we learned the hypotenuse log postulate is another way to prove triangles are congruent. We show that the triangles contain a right angle, and then the hypotenuse and leg of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding hypotenuse and leg of another triangle. That's a wrap on today's video. We'll see you in the next one.